Hello, my dear friends, how are you? I'm back because I keep running out of internet, but I should have um, like 80 gigabytes of it now, so I should be back in business. Um, so check out my Dragon Hummel. So yeah, I've started to paint the interior and we'll get this sort of painted up before we put it together because it'll be too difficult. You won't be able to get those, you know, underneath angles and stuff like that. Um, and you can see I've really shadowed it a lot. So heaps of um, black. So I really went in hard with the black. And then I'll show you what colors I used. Um, looks like the bomb hit this place, hasn't it? Oh, that's what it's like living without a girlfriend. Who needs them? They make you clean your house. All right, I'll show you what colors I used. So I used this SMS German sand yellow. That was the initial coat. It's a sort of a darker one. And uh, that's RAL7028. We've also got another one that SMS does that's very similar and it's called German Brown and that's RAL 8020. Um, very similar. So with these two colors, you can really get um, some good well, German effects I found. Um, but this one's a bit darker and this one's a bit lighter, um, as you can see. And then after I put on this, so I dusted this on, leaving a lot of the shadows. So, uh, I'll see enough of that. Um, so I would sort of go from this direction and then sort of come in and, and do a little bit. But when I did the sand gelb, so I got a little bit of this sand gelb in the brush and then it was just a light few dustings that way. All right, I'm just gonna go kick the e cat in the ass. Hold on. Enough. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, from this direction, I went with this stuff, so from that direction, it was the same with this one. As you can see here, it's, it's a little bit lighter at the top, and that's the sand gelb. And then after it, I've gone and placed, um, this thing. Really good stuff, this MIG stuff. So it's this um, brown for dark and desert yellow. So that's going on after it. Really cool, hey? Getting a really cool effect. But you won't see that black from the, the top, so you'll be looking down at it from that direction. So it'd be more look uh, shadow sort of look. So, see how we go in this little thing. But also, I've been working on the chipping. See if you can see it. It's sort of hard to see. You get a bit of highlighting coming out, and there's a bit of rust going on the bucket. But I've just been working on the rear here and getting those chips out. See here, it's all been done by hand. And on this rear plate there. So what I've done is I've used a, my chipping mixture, which is uh, 45 black, 45 dark brown, and 10% red. And I've used a dark sea gray, dark sea gray, by Tamiya to sort of just border it a touch and bring it out a bit. But you see how bright that Tamiya uh, grey is. It really dulls down when you come in and start to put your uh, rust washes over the top. See what I mean? So don't trip out too much on it being too, you know, stand out too brilliant. Your, your washes do um, bring things together more. All right, just a quick video to get started. We'll get this one uploaded. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll come and I'll talk to you again soon and we'll talk about some cool modeling stuff. All right, guys, it's good to be back. I'll speak to you again soon.